let's take a look at the events that are being swum today. We have the men's 400 IM with favorites being Ryan Lochte and now that there's no Michael Phelps, can his teammate Chase Kalish take his spot? Ryan is still 31 years old, which isn't very common to be seeing a man of that age still competing in these grueling events. So can Kalish step up and take the spot that Michael Phelps has left open? For the women's 100 fly, we're going to look for the, uh, the name Dana Vollmer. So Dana is an Olympic gold medalist from London and a new mom. And I had the honor of saying that I was on my Olympic gold medal relay and world record relay with Dana. So I'll be cheering for her. Moving on to the men's 400 freestyle, we have Connor Dwyer. All right, so listen to this. Dwyer is here with 70 deep in the stands. There's going to be 70 family members and friends cheering for Connor. So he's obviously going to be a crowd favorite. But there's also another Connor, Connor Yeager, who is from Michigan and is another top name to be looking out for. All right, women's 400 IM, my baby, my specialty. Two girls to be looking out for, Elizabeth Beisel and Maya Dorado. Saw Maya yesterday, got to talk to her real briefly. She, she made a comment that she's very excited that the 400 IM is on the first day. Sounds like she just wants to get in and get that race done, and I could not agree with her anymore. So Beisel is the silver medalist from London, but Maya has been looking so strong as this kind of like the top time to beat these days. All right, moving on to the men's 100 breaststroke. This is going to be some new faces. Eric Chanteau and Brendan Hansen were in 2012, no longer swimming. We have three best times under a minute, which is very impressive. Kevin Cordes, Cody Miller, and Nick Fink. So some amazing guys to look out for. We're going to have some maybe some newbies on the team, some rookies. How exciting. What an awesome day of racing to look forward to.